Franco Bondondo, July 11, 1910, February 19, 1942, nicknamed The Dasher, was a New York City contract killer who committed many murders as part of the infamous murder, Incorporated Gang. His preferred killing method was to stab his victims through the heart with an ice pick. After a trial and conviction for murdering a Brooklyn loan shark, he was executed in the electric chair at Sing Sing on February 19, 1942. Early years of Bandando's parents, Lorenzo Abundandolo and Rosario Famaghetti, emigrated from Avellino, Italy to New York City. He was born in New York on July 11, 1910. Abandando was one of twelve children, of which seven did not survive childhood. His brothers and sisters were Philomena, December 10, 1907, December 6, 1970, Rocco, December 22, 1910, October 19, 1912, Anna, June 25, 1912, October 13, 1984, Carolina, 1914, September 16, 1915, Teresa, October 1, 1915, April 11, 1997, Carmela, 1917, April 30, 1924, Rocco, II, a mob associate, September 7, 1918, March 31, 1976, Antonio, March 15, 1920, April 6, 1981, Twins, Angelina and Archangelo, August 1921, October 18, 1921, Angelina, the 2nd, 1923, May 2, 1925. Criminal career Abundando began as a teenager extorting money from shop owners by threatening to torch their shops. By his 20s, he had joined a street gang in the Ocean Hill section of Brooklyn where he quickly became a lieutenant of Harry Happy My One. Abandondo organized gambling, loan sharking, and extortion rackets for the gang, as well as committing murders. In 1928, Abandondo was convicted of beating a New York police officer and was sent to reform school in Elmira, New York where he demonstrated skill at baseball and received the nickname, The Dasher. While Abandondo was said to be a connoisseur of fine clothes and fancy cars, he was also a habitual sexual predator who would drive around his neighborhoods of Brownsville and Ocean Hill looking for young women to rape. The prosecutor at his murder trial said that Abandondo had all but admitted one rape, to which Abandondo replied, Well, that one doesn't count really. I married the girl later. Contract killer in the early 1930s, New York's five families began using gangs to commit their murders. This was because they had reformed their operating structures following the vicious, high-profile Castel Amaris War which had made front-page news for its brutality. With the new peace, the mobs now wanted to keep a low public profile. By using contract killers, the five families were better protected from public and law enforcement scrutiny. These killers were led by Louis Lepke Butchelder, the young leader of the Jewish gang known as the Guerrilla Boys. With the growth in racketeering, Butchelder's small informal network of killers grew into a group of 250 criminals who were also involved in narcotics, labor unions, and other rackets such as gambling and prostitution. Butchelder called his group the combination, but the New York press labeled it Murder, Inc. Unlike the five families, which required members to be of Sicilian or Southern Italian ancestry, Murder Incorporated was a diverse ethnic gang that included Jews, Italians, and Irish killers. Abandondo had become associated with Murder Incorporated in the 1920s. By the early 30s, he was reputed to have killed at least 30 people, mostly in Brooklyn for a payment of about $500 per murder. In September 1931, Abandondo helped Butchelter and gang member Abe Reels eliminate the Shapiro brothers. A rival outfit from the Lower East Side of Manhattan who controlled the garment industry in Brooklyn. In 1937, Abandondo assisted in the murder of George Rudnick, a loan shark in Brooklyn. 
Rills had ordered Rudnick's murder because he had received information that Rudnick was a police informant. Using an ice pick and a meat cleaver, Abandondo and several other gang members strangled Rudnick, stabbed him 63 times, and crushed his head inside a garage. No one was arrested for the crime. In February 1939, Abandondo and others killed mobster Felice Esposito. The contract was issued because he had been a prosecution witness in a mob murder trial 17 years earlier. Trial and execution by the 1940s, Murder, Incorporated would be severely weakened after the arrests and convictions of its leaders, like Butchelter and Jacob Shapiro, and top hitmen such as Charles, The Bug, Workman and Emmanuel, Mendy, Weiss. Its downfall began in 1940 when Abe Reels had turned state witness after being indicted for murder. His testimonies against fellow murder, Incorporated soon led to the arrest of Abandondo for the murder of George Rodnick in 1937. In May 1940, Abandondo was put on trial for murder along with co-defendants Harry, Happy, My One and Harry, Pittsburgh Phil, Strauss. Abandondo was so confident that his allies would succeed in fixing the verdict, he even whispered a threat into the judge's ear while he was on the witness stand. However, to his surprise, they were all convicted of Rodnick's murder. But the verdicts were overturned on appeal. In April 1941 Abandondo, along with my one, Strauss had been subsequently convicted in September 1940 of killing Jewish mobster Irving Feinstein in 1939, went on trial a second time. This time he was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to death. Abandondo spent the next nine months in Sing Sing prison in assigning New York. On February 19, 1942, he was executed using Old Sparky, the electric chair at Sing Sing. In the moments up to his execution, Abandondo continued to mock and curse his guards. It was reported he displayed no fear and seemed to find a more but humor in the proceedings. Aftermath after Abandondo's conviction, Six other members of Murder, Incorporated, including Butchelter and My One, were also convicted of murder and executed based on Reel's testimony. On November 12, 1941, while under police protection, Reel fell out a hotel window in Connie Island. The official ruling was that Reel died trying to climb down bed sheets to the street below, however, it was rumored that the Cosa Nostra raised $100,000 to bribe Rilla's guards to shove him out the window. With Butchelter's death, Albert, Lord High Executioner, and Anastasia, a made man in the Cosa Nostra, took over Murder, Incorporated. As a reaction to government informants and Murder, Incorporated, the New York crime families started using their own members and associates, who were more easily controlled, to carry out murders. Murder, Incorporated soon faded away. Personal life of Bondondo Mary Jenny DeLuca, a hairdresser from Ocean Hill, at his parents' urging. He had two sons. Both became involved in organized crime. Lawrence was born out of wedlock on December 20, 1927. He became a mob associate who died of cancer in North Miami Beach, Florida on March 25, 1995. His younger brother, Frank Abandondo Jr., who was born on October 17, 1935, was a Gambino crime family associate who was murdered in Florida on December 22, 1995. The 60-year-old mobster was run over as he crossed Biscayne Boulevard in North Miami Beach by Rocco Napolitano, the brother of Aniello Napolitano a small-time drug dealer who might have been executed on the orders of Abandondo Jr. After running him down, Napolitano fired several shots into Abandondo as he lay on the ground. Napolitano told police that he had shot him out of revenge for his brother. He was sentenced to life in prison. Abandondo Jr. was buried in Ocean Hill, Brooklyn. References Cited works Flowers, R. Barry, Flowers, H. Lorraine, 2005. Male Murderers. Murders in the United States, Crimes, Killers and Victims of the 20th Century.
McFarland. ISBN 0-7864-2075-8. Nash, J. Robert, 1993. World Encyclopedia of Organized Crime. De Capo Press. ISBN 0-306-80535-9. Turkas, Burton B. Fetter, Sid, 2003. Murder, Incorporated. The Story of the Syndicate. De Capo Press. ISBN 0-306-81288-6. Further reading Davis, John H. Mafia Dynasty, The Rise and Fall of the Gambino Crime Family, New York, Harper Collins, 1993.ISBN 0-061-09184-7. Ian Nutsi, Joseph and James Morton. Joe Dogs Ian Nutsi, The Life and Times of a Real Life Mobster. Simon and Schuster, 1993. ISBN 0 0-671-79752-2. Rob Selwyn. Five Families. The Rise, Decline, and Resurgence of America's Most Powerful Mafia Empires. New York. St. Martin Press, 2005. ISBN 0-312-30094-8. External links. Frank Abundando at Find a Grave.